Do you know how many types of cancer cells exist? Well, it's a vast and varied world. Cancer cells are rogue versions of our own body cells, growing and multiplying uncontrollably. They are not bound by the rules that govern normal cells, making them potentially dangerous. These abnormal cells are named based on where they originate. For instance, if a cell starts its rebellious journey in the skin, it's a skin cancer cell. If it begins in the breast, it's a breast cancer cell, and so on. But it's not just about the location. The type of cell that becomes cancerous also plays a crucial role in defining the cancer type. For example, if a cancer cell stems from the epithelial cells that line our body's surfaces inside and out, it's categorized as a carcinoma. If it originates from the connective tissues like bone or muscle, it's called a sarcoma. In the next segment, we will dive deeper into the different types of cancer cells. First on our list, we have carcinomas. Carcinomas originate in the epithelial cells, which are the protective or lining cells covering the body's internal organs and external surfaces. These cells are like the body's wallpaper, keeping everything contained and protected. Now, carcinomas can occur in various organs, including the skin, lungs, breast, prostate and colon. But let's delve a bit deeper into the types of carcinomas. Firstly, there's adenocarcinoma. This type develops in the epithelial cells that produce fluids or mucus, commonly found in glandular tissues. These are the ones often seen in the breast, colon and prostate. Next, we have basal cell carcinoma. This one happens in the lower or basal layer of the skin's epidermis. Imagine it as a nasty tenant in the basement of your skin's apartment complex. Lastly, there's squamous cell carcinoma. This type affects the squamous epithelial cells, the flat cells that line various organs and are just beneath the skin. Think of these cells as the body's floor tiles, and squamous cell carcinoma is like an unwelcome crack in those tiles. Each of these types of carcinomas has unique characteristics and impacts different parts of the body. But remember, they all originate from the same place, the epithelial cells. The ones that act as the body's wallpaper, keeping us together and protected. Next, we will look at sarcomas, another type of cancer cells. Sarcomas, different from carcinomas, originate from connective tissues. These are the tissues that hold our body together providing structure and support. Sarcomas, though less common, are a broad category of cancers that can occur in various tissues, including muscles, fat, blood vessels, bone or cartilage. Let's take osteosarcoma as an example. As the most common bone cancer, osteosarcoma is often found in the long bones of the body, like those in your arms and legs. It's a formidable opponent, but understanding it is the first step in the fight. Another type is leomyosarcoma, a tumor that occurs in smooth muscle tissue. This tissue is found in organs like the stomach and uterus and in blood vessel walls. Despite its complex name, leomyosarcoma is just another puzzle piece in the vast landscape of cancer research. Understanding these types of cancer helps shape the way we approach treatments and advancements in the field. Now, let's move on to a type of cancer that originates from blood-forming cells, leukemia. Leukemia originates in the blood-forming cells. This type of cancer starts in the bone marrow, the soft tissue inside most bones. Here, the body's supply of blood cells is produced. When leukemia strikes, it causes a rapid production of abnormal white blood cells, which aren't able to fight infection as effectively as their healthy counterparts. Leukemia can be broadly classified into two types, acute or chronic. Acute leukemia is characterized by an overproduction of immature blood cells that are unable to perform their usual functions. This type of leukemia progresses rapidly and requires immediate treatment. On the other hand, chronic leukemia involves more mature blood cells that can still carry out some of their functions. The disease progresses gradually and might not require treatment for years after initial diagnosis. These classifications can further be divided based on the type of white blood cell affected, myeloid or lymphoid. Each variation of leukemia has its own treatment options and prognosis. 
Next, we will explore lymphoma, a blood cancer that affects the lymphatic system. Lymphoma is a blood cancer that affects the lymphatic system. This complex network of vessels and nodes spread throughout the body is responsible for balancing fluids and fighting infections. Now, the lymphatic system can become the very site of cancer, specifically lymphoma. Lymphomas are broadly classified into two main types, Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin lymphoma is the rarer of the two, characterized by the presence of Reed-Sternberg cells. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, on the other hand, is more common and has a wide range of subtypes varying in severity and progression. Now let's shift our focus to another blood cancer known as multiple myeloma, also called plasma cell myeloma. This cancer affects plasma cells, which are a type of immune cell responsible for producing antibodies, the body's defense mechanism against infections. In multiple myeloma, these plasma cells become cancerous, multiply uncontrollably, and form tumors in bones. This can lead to bone pain and fractures, anemia, and kidney problems. Interestingly, multiple myeloma is also known as Kehler disease, named after the Austrian physician Otto Kehler, who first described it. So, from lymphomas to multiple myeloma, we see that cancer can strike anywhere, even in the very cells and systems designed to protect us. But understanding these cancers, their origins and effects, is the first step in fighting them. Today, we have learned about the different types of cancer cells, each with unique characteristics and origins. To recap, we have discussed various types of cancer cells. Carcinomas, which originate in the epithelial cells, are one of the most common types, with subtypes including adenocarcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, and squamous cell carcinoma. Sarcomas, on the other hand, arise from the connective tissue such as muscles, fat, and bone. Some examples of sarcomas are osteosarcoma, leomyosarcoma, and Kaposi sarcoma. We also explored leukemia, which originates in the blood-forming cells, and lymphoma, a blood cancer affecting the lymphatic system. Lastly, we discussed multiple myeloma, a cancer affecting plasma cells that occurs in the bone marrow and forms tumors in bones. Each type of cancer cell is unique, originating from different parts of the body and presenting unique challenges in terms of detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Remember, early detection is key in cancer treatment. Stay informed, stay healthy.